Breaking news that's got everyone talking. Labour's latest announcement has sent shockwaves through the UK, especially for pensioners worried about their winter fuel allowance. But what's really going on and how will it affect your pocket? Stay tuned because you won't want to miss this crucial update that could impact millions of households across the country. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and want to stay informed about the latest benefits and pension updates, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. You won't regret it, especially with all the changes happening in 2024. Now, let's dive into today's massive story. Sir Keir Starmer has just dropped a bombshell about Labour's stance on the winter fuel allowance, and it's completely different from what we've been hearing. But before we get into the details, let me know in the comments how have rising energy costs affected you this year? Are you one of the millions feeling the squeeze? The big question on everyone's mind is has Labour really you turned on their winter fuel allowance policy? Well, the short answer is, there's been a significant shift in their position. Initially, there were concerns about potential cuts to this vital support, but Starmer has now come forward with a different message entirely, one that's causing quite a stir in political circles and giving hope to millions of pensioners across the UK. Just imagine this, you're a pensioner already struggling with rising costs, and then you hear rumours about your winter fuel payment being at risk. Pretty scary, right? Well, here's where things get interesting. If you're finding this information valuable so far, please give this video a quick like it really helps the channel reach more people who need this information, and believe me, this is information everyone needs to hear. Let's break down what this means for you. Currently, the winter fuel allowance provides between PS250 and PS600 for eligible pensioners, depending on their circumstances. The key concern was whether these amounts would be maintained or reduced. But here's the twist Labour's latest announcement suggests they're now committed to protecting this crucial support, and there's even more to this story that you need to know about. Now, let me share something fascinating with you. Did you know that energy costs have risen by over 50% in the last two years? That's right, and it's precisely why this U-turn is so significant. For many pensioners, this allowance isn't just helpful, it's absolutely essential for survival during the cold winter months. If you're still with me, and you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time to hit that subscribe button. We're about to dive even deeper into this topic, and trust me, you won't want to miss our future updates on benefits and allowances. Let's talk about the real impact of this decision. You see, it's not just about the money, it's about dignity and security for our elderly population. Recent studies have shown that proper heating during winter months can reduce hospital admissions by up to 30%. I think about that for a moment. We're not just talking about comfort, we're talking about public health. The latest update on the winter fuel allowance has brought some much needed clarity to a situation that has caused significant anxiety among pensioner communities. Previously, the uncertainty around these payments left many people feeling insecure about their future, leading to a flood of comments and messages from concerned viewers. Today's news provides a clearer picture of what to expect for the 2024-25 winter season if Labour's proposed position is implemented. Here's the breakdown of potential payments those living alone and born on or before September 25, 1957, can expect a minimum of PS250. For over 80s, an enhanced payment of up to PS600 is available. Couples with one qualifying member will receive the standard rate with potential supplements, while those on pension credit may receive additional support. Additionally, disability benefit recipients will have extra considerations applied. However, there's an often overlooked detail that could significantly affect total payments regional factors, like postcode can influence eligibility. Those living in areas designated as particularly cold may qualify for extra assistance, so it's essential to be aware of these regional supplements. Now, I can see the comments section filling up already, but before you ask yes, this is different from the cost of living payments. And no, this won't affect your eligibility for other benefits. In fact, this brings me to another important point about benefit stacking and maximizing your entitlements. Let me share something interesting about the history of this benefit. The winter fuel allowance was first introduced in 1997, and since then it's helped millions of pensioners stay warm during harsh British winters. Understanding this context helps us appreciate why Labour's U-turn is such a significant moment in social policy. Here's another crucial aspect many forget about the timing of payments. While we're talking about this now, the actual payments typically start in November and continue through December. But, and this is important, there are things you need to do well before then to ensure you don't miss out. 
If you're finding this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps others discover these crucial updates. We all know someone who could benefit from staying informed about this, right? Now, let's discuss something often overlooked the application process. While most eligible pensioners receive their payments automatically, there are specific cases where you may need to make a claim. For instance, you'll need to apply if you're eligible but don't currently receive benefits or a state pension, or if you only receive housing benefit, council tax reduction, or child benefit. Additionally, if you've recently moved to the UK and haven't claimed before, you'll need to file an application. Here's a helpful tip keep all your documentation updated, including your address, bank details, and any recent changes in your circumstances. Many people miss out simply because their information isn't current, so staying on top of these details could save you a lot of hassle. Looking ahead to winter 2024-25, there are several key dates you need to be aware of. The qualifying week, which is when your circumstances are assessed, typically falls in September. This means any changes to your situation need to be reported well before then. Here's something important I haven't mentioned yet the impact of this policy shift on the broader social care system. The winter fuel allowance isn't just an isolated benefit, it's part of a larger support network that plays a vital role in maintaining the independence and dignity of our elderly population. Before we finish up, let me address a few common questions I've seen in the comments. First, yes, you can still claim the allowance if you live in a care home, although certain conditions apply. No, this payment won't affect your tax status, it's completely tax-free, and you don't need to repay it. And if you live with younger people, you're still eligible to claim. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to securing your financial well-being. That's why I'm dedicated to bringing you the latest updates as soon as they happen. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from this information. Here's another fascinating statistic. Proper winter heating can reduce the risk of respiratory illnesses by up to 45%. This isn't just about comfort, it's about maintaining health and independence for our elderly population. And with Labour's new position, it looks like this crucial support will continue. I know some of you may be wondering about what lies ahead beyond 2024. While it's impossible to predict every outcome, this recent policy shift suggests a growing acknowledgement of the importance of supporting older citizens through the winter months. The political landscape may be uncertain, but one thing is clear public support for maintaining this allowance is stronger than ever. Before we wrap up, here's a quick recap of the key points. Labour has made a significant U-turn on the winter fuel allowance, with payments ranging from PS250 to PS600 depending on individual circumstances. The qualifying date remains September 25, 1957, and most eligible recipients will continue to receive automatic payments. Additionally, extra support may be available for those in certain colder areas. Final thoughts. This is a developing situation and changes could still happen. The best way to stay informed is to subscribe to this channel. I'll cover any updates as soon as they come in, so hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and join our community of informed citizens. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you found this helpful. Drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I read every single one and try to respond to respond to as many as I can. Until next time, take care and stay warm.